splitting families, man. Okay, because once you move the people and, and split them, well, they lose their heritage and they lose their fire about themselves. That's why they couldn't readily put the uh, North American Indians and the, uh, and the Seminole Indians into, into, into slavery to build up their kingdom. All right, but the point is this that all of these different heathens, all of these di different nations have drunk upon the holy mountain of Yahweh by Shimei outside the Negroes, the Spanks, Native Americans, man. The, the, uh, the 12 tribes of Israel, so you can understand, man. Okay, so it says here, uh, um, so. So all shall the heathen drink continually, yea, they shall drink and they shall swallow down and they shall be as though they have not been. So all of these different empires, these, these governments and these different uh, 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 pleasures of Esau, okay, because we all, you know, you have, you might have uh, uh, Elam, Elam will set up, you know, some kind of uh, uh, business out there or, or some kind of, uh, 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 you know, you got Dubai and all of that, okay, but really he couldn't do that unless Esau allowed him to do that because Esau is the top dog right now, man, okay. So all of that, you know, all of that oil wealth that they, you know, amassed out there in, uh, 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 in, in um, out there in Saudi Arabia and so on and so forth. Esau didn't want it, want it to where that they, they wasn't gonna make no money or all, all, all of that. Esau would set that up, man. And they're showing you that through what, through um, from devaluing of, 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 you know, you got to what, 40, 40, uh, it's like 40, 47, 47 dollars a barrel right now. So them Saudi Arabians, they ain't making all that kind of money because why? Because Esau is getting ready to crash the economy, man. Right. But the point I was making is. All of these different, you know, all of these different evens, all their money that they're making, all of their commerce and so on and so forth, circumvents around Esau's, uh, you know, around Esau's system, man. And when you go to the Revelations, the 18th chapter, it proves that. Okay, in fact, I'll get that. I'll get that. Revelations, the 18th chapter. Okay, starting from the top, right? And I says, after this, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lit in with his glory. He says he cried with a mighty and strong voice, Babylon, which is America, the great, has fallen. And it's fallen, and it's become the habitation of devils, right? Uh, and that's that, that, uh, that's that's also uh, quoting um, Isaiah the thirteenth chapter, man. Okay, gosh, hey, you got you got these different individuals that come out here, and it says you know, scriptures is done away with. This is one of the most coherent books that's ever been written, man. Written at different times, you know, some of these dudes they didn't even you know read something. I wouldn't say they hadn't hadn't read it, all right. But the, the thing is so tight and so coherent, it's like. You go into one 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 part of the scriptures, he's telling you exactly the same thing that was gonna happen in another part of the scriptures. Okay? Because it's all prophecy, man. Alright, and if it's gonna it's gonna if it was gonna be something that's gonna happen in the future, guess what, man? They was gonna be all speaking about that event that was gonna happen in the future. And ultimate that ultimate event is the destruction of America, man. Okay? So it says there, it has become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every cage, uh, and the hold of every foul spirit, and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all the nations have drank of the wine of the wrath of her fornications and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies and what's one of those um, uh, main delicacies that they have? the Negroes, Hispanics and Native Americans man okay which they basically sell throughout they basically hey we go to the book of Joel the third chapter it tells you they basically sell the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans back and forth to make commerce man but now they can get it to where they can just really just have them out there in America alright you alright there? Okay, what can you say about this thing that's happening out there within the Middle East, between Russia? You no comment? It's going to affect you, you know? <laughs> you know, putting off the day of the Lord, man. Right, but um, what was I saying? I was saying, um, um, basically, uh, the point I was making was that uh, goes back onto the book of Obadiah where it says here, for, all ye, uh, for as ye have drank of my holy mountain, so ye shall drink continually, because all of these different nations, in one way, shape, or form, Right, basically have got rich by way of the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. Man, they they got their commerce all, all out of that, man. All right, where are you from, man? What country are you from? I just wanted to know, man. You want to keep it to yourself? All right, man. <laughs> That's to your own demise, you know. All right. So it says there, back in the book of Obadiah, the 16th chapter, for as ye have drank upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathens drink, and they shall drink down, and they shall uh, be as they do not been. So. When America is taking down all the commerce that they had, all of, all of that Dubai that they built up, uh, um, all of these different countries, and you know where these, you know Esau wants to go on holiday and so on and so forth, that's not going to be anymore, man. Okay, because you know you, you got these dudes out here, these young cats. They, where do they go? They want to go Zante and Abifa and all of that. That ain't going to be happening in the kingdom of the Most High with all of that adultery, all right, and orgies and so on and so forth, man. That ain't going to be happening in the kingdom of the Most High, man. Okay, that's going to be done done away with, man. Okay. And that's your so-called holiday, your so-called holiday destinations, man. 
Okay, the Mosai is gonna put everything back to, to, to the right way it's supposed to, man. Okay, and the people that's the only people that's gonna be on going on holidays is Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, which are the only people that don't go on holiday in this society, man. Save a few of them, and you know, a week a week away ain't, ain't really nothing, man. Okay, a week away ain't really nothing. What the, what the most is gonna set up in terms of how rich and wealthy we're gonna be? You could be, you might take a year out, man. Okay, you gonna be all right. You might took, hey, you might take a hundred years out, and you are still gonna be all right, man. That's how that, that's how wealthy the most side is gonna have it to where the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans is gonna be when we get into our own society, the Israelites. When we get in, when when the most side rebuilds this whole earth again, man. Okay, because the scripture says in the Book of Revelations how the most side saw a, a new heaven, or basically how the, how uh, how um uh, what's the man man uh, John the Revelator saw a new heaven. Right? And the new earth, does that mean to say that the earth is going to be destroyed? Well, that would be contrary to the scriptures, because the scripture says the foundations of the earth stand, it, stand, it, stand it forever. So the earth itself ain't going to be destroyed, but its rulership, okay, this age, it's going to be done away with. And he's, he saw a new age coming down from, from, from the sky, which, which was talking about uh, um, the, the, actual, the elect, the 12 tribes of Israel that were beamed up into the spaceships, and they're going to be beamed back down. You were seeing that, okay? And once they come down, we're going to be rebuilding, man. Okay, and we, are, we, we ain't gonna lift bricks to mortar. We're gonna have it to where our idea is gonna be put forth by way of what? By way of that one commodity that people don't like to, to, to you know, basically to, 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 to own up about, which is slaves, man. Okay, the more side deals with it, man. Okay, we've seen that within the scriptures, within the book of Revelation, the 13th chapter, and around about the 9th verse. Okay, so back in uh, Obadiah, the 15th, uh, the 16th verse. He says, For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathens drink continually. Yea, they shall drink, and they shall swallow down, and they shall be as they not, have not been. And I broke that down a little bit a second ago. It says, But upon my uh, Mount Zion shall be deliverance, okay? And they shall be holy. Uh, rather more, let me read that again so I can really get the breath of what it's saying right. Okay? Let me really get the breath of what it's saying right. Okay? It says here, Okay, they shall be as they have not been, but upon Mount Zion shall be the deliverance. So there is a clear distinction between who was going to get saved and who was going to be as they have not been. In other words, destroyed. Okay, now the scripture is going to build upon that. All right, let's check out what the scripture is going to say here. It says, and they shall be, uh, and they shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Whose possessions are we going to possess, man? Okay, let's go to the book of Isaiah, the 14th chapter, right quick. You know, hey, this ain't the topic I really set up, but hey, it's the spirit, man. Okay, the spirit wants this to come out. This is the book of Isaiah, the 14th chapter, starting from the top. Okay, it says, For the Lord, Yahweh Shimei Alshai, in all caps, will have mercy upon Jacob, all right, and will yet choose Israel. Now, why does it say, will yet choose Israel? Well, basically, because the Messiah had it to where we was enslaved. We've got these heathens that they thought they was in, 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 in power. And they thought it was going to rule forever and ever, right? The most I said he's going to yet choose Israel because even though they did all of that iniquity, all right, hey, where you from, man? Uh, are you from? All right, okay, you're an Israelite, man. You're an Israelite. Where you from? Uh, Jamaica? Uh, yeah, you're Benjamite, man. All right? All right, man. Um, like I was saying, you had it to where all of these different nations were in power, right? Now, when the most I, you know, before the most I took them out, they, you know, they thought they was going to rule forever and so on and so forth, but as history has told us, they didn't rule forever and ever, okay? But, they, you know, they tried their best to, okay? But the point I was making is this, even though we was in a state of being uh, uh, oppressed underneath our oppressors, the Messiah said he was going to yet choose Israel. So he said, basically, even though you are, you're the lowest scum upon the face of the earth, and, and uh, in the book of Obadiah, the 30th chapter shows you that, but now we've become their byword, right? A proverb and a reproach, and so on and so forth. Now we become like the, the, the lowest, lowest on, on, on the earth, but the most is gonna flip the script again and we're gonna be the top dogs, man. Because it all goes back onto what the most side set up. The scripture says in the book of Daniel, it says the best in the book of, book of Daniel, man. It says, uh, uh, um, it says, um, uh, the most side ruleth in the kingdom of men and he giveth, he giveth it to whomever he will, man. And it just so happens the most side took these base men, right? These base creatures as pursuing to the book of Daniel, uh, uh, rather more the book of Job, the 30th chapter. He's took he's taking these base creatures and he set them up on high, man. Okay? Now he's going to reverse those scales again as you're going to see within the prophecies and within the scriptures, man. How the most is going to take it away from these base men, these base creatures, okay? And, and, and give it to his, his rightful rulers, man. Okay? It says, hey, we're in the book of uh, uh, Isaiah, the 14th chapter. For the Lord will have mercy upon Jacob, 
will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined unto them. Because why? Because you're going to have it where only, you know, these individuals that look like Edomites, but you, you know, you can kind of call them. And we're like, hold on a minute, man. That guy's kind of got some flavor about him. Maybe he's an Israelite. Well, the Mosai set it up to where the sea was going to be uh, dispersed throughout the four corners of the earth. as pursuing to the book of De uh, Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter on the 64th, uh, 64th verse, where it says, um, Therefore shall the Lord scatter thee amongst all the nations, man. Okay, that's why, you know, I ain't got to it yet. In the book of uh, Amos, the ninth chapter, and the ninth verse, it's going to say, For lo, I will command and I will sift all the nations of Israel from amongst uh, uh, from amongst the nations like corn is sifted, man. And the least grain, least grain of the elect ain't going to fall to the ground. But here's what the scripture also says, All the sinners of the most high people shall die by the sword. Now, what's the modern day sword? Those ICBM nuclear missiles, man, that's going to come by way of Russia, Iran, okay? And all of them different countries alike, man. All right? So let's go back onto the scripture. It says here in the book of Isaiah, the 14th chapter on the first verse, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel, and set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined unto them, and they shall cleave unto the house of Israel. And the people shall take them, and bring them to their place, and Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord, for the uh, servants and handmaids. Now, what's that talking about, man? That's talking about slavery, man. Okay? And so for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. The Lord set it up to where we're going to rule over our oppressors, man. Okay, it's going to be a role reverse, man, so you can understand, man. All right? You got Esau on high right now. He looks down on the Negroes, the Spanish Native Americans, and they think they all, you know, they ain't shit and whatever, whatever. Okay? The most is going to set it up to where that's going to be reversed now, man. Okay, now they're going to be on high and they're going to look down on these Edomites. In fact, the scripture says, <laughs> it later on within this uh, uh, book of Isaiah, the 14th chapter, it says, All they that see thee shall now you look upon thee, saying, Is this the man that made the whole earth to tremble, man? Okay, because Esau made the whole earth to tremble by way of what? By way of his blessing going back into the book of the, uh, Genesis, the 27th chapter, where with the blessing that Esau got was the sword, all right? And by his sword, he, he goes out there and basically has it to where all of these different nations are in subjection under, underneath his world, man. Okay, now he might go there un underneath the, the name of the Americans, and he might go there underneath the name of NATO, man. Or he might go out there under the name of the British, man. Okay, but that's the nature of Esau, he's deceptive. Okay, and that all really goes back onto Cain because the scripture says, Who will so ever slay of Cain, right? Uh, uh, if I remember, I gotta remember it, the, the right quote. You know, I don't want to misquote, you know, you can get a video about me, but it's being comical. Getting back onto the point, uh, 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 I believe uh, 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 Cain basically said, Look, this, this, this punishment is too much for me, man. And the most I set it up to where, you know, he was gonna have it to where uh, uh, whoever slay of Cain, basically, he was gonna, he's gonna be slain. So, that's why Esau is in the position that he's in right now because he was Cain coming back, man. Right, the first murderer and the old, really the, the murderer in the, in, the, in the earth, man, the killer, man. Okay, the cancer of the earth, man. And that's one of the reasons the Mosai is gonna take him out because you go to the Book of Revelations. I believe it's in the Book of Revelations. It says if the Mosai don't come soon, there ain't gonna be no flesh left to save, man. Okay, he's doing so much uh, uh, damage to the to the whole balance of the earth right now. It's like. There ain't gonna be no left, anybody left to save in like, like 10 years time, man. Cancer's spreading rampant, man. Okay? Right by way of the poisonous foods that are, that are out here, by way of the, the you know, uh, 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 um, radio frequency waves that he pushes out there into the, into the atmosphere, which is not which is not natural and all of that. Because all of those energies, they carry, they, all of those, uh, 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 um, all those things carry energy, man, and vibrations, man. Okay? And then I'm going right? I mean, I ain't no, no, no science or anything like that, but I'll be, I'll, you know, I'll be damned, man. Those, that's going to that's gonna cause some uh, damage up, man. Okay? So let's get back onto the scriptures. It says, uh, back in the um, Obadiah, all right? I was at Obadiah, the 17th verse. It says, but upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and, they shall be, uh, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions, man. And we've seen that within the book of Isaiah, the 14th chapter. Okay, how are we going to be a, a, a rule over our possessions, man? Are you all right there, man? Okay, what do you think about the UK economy right now? not looking very good is it all right where are you from australia okay all right man <laughs> out back yeah you know the route the tour bus goes uh, i'm afraid i can't help you with the tour bus i'm not really from from this city okay, you know i, I just you i just do the recording and all of that but if you ask the there's uh, there's an information point right there that's the information point right there all right man all right so this is uh back in the book of obadiah the 17th chapter says but upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and they shall be holiness, 
all right? And the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. So we saw that within the book of Isaiah, the 14th chapter, man, okay? We've seen how these heathens are going to be our possessions, man, okay? And they're going to be just that, our possessions, man. We can do whatever we want with them. I believe there was a king, actually, that, you know, he was, his thing, he, how he got off was basically throwing them Edomites off of cliffs, man. And I get, I get, I get why you do that, man. But you see these Esau, man, you see how Esau moves around within this society. He deserves something like that coming to him. But see, what he's gonna be, what's going to be happening to Esau in the future is going to be on a higher scale than that. But we're going to see that within the scriptures in the next couple of verses how the house of uh, Jacob and the house of Ephraim, okay, it's going to be a, a fire and a flame. And the house, basically how the house of Esau is going to be for stubble, man. All right, and the scripture goes on to say how he's going to be basically eradicated from the face of the earth, man. And that's what you do with the cancer. You burn it off, okay. So let's see that within the scriptures right here. It says here, uh, in the house of Jacob, 18th verse, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau shall be for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and they shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord have spoken it. So because the Lord has spoken it, there ain't going to be none of Esau, uh, uh, none of the house of Esau remaining, man. So you had it to where, uh, uh, when you go back into the history, uh, uh, certain kings were in power, and the most I said, okay, you're going to go to war with these people, okay? I don't want to see none of those remaining, okay? And you had that king, you know, oh, he spared one Edomite and stuff. No, you ain't going to have that this time, man, okay? You ain't going to have, this going to be a universally uh, accepted that Esau is going to be basically removed from the earth, man. And this hasn't already happened, man. Otherwise, you have a documentary out there on the History Channel going into the Edomites and saying, oh, the Edomites did this, that, and the third, okay? Now they're completely wiped off as, uh, uh, from being a nation, man. All right? It says, back, back, back in the scriptures, it says here, And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of uh, Joseph a flame. Okay, and it says because hey, man, the, those two houses as as, as, spoke, as seen within the um, uh, 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 and I'm gonna show you that in the book of uh, uh, um, Amos, uh, 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 um, I think it's a, uh, is it Amos? Nevertheless, basically the house of Joseph and and, and the house of uh, 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 Jacob, man, uh, uh, what does it say? The house of uh, um, yeah, the house of J uh, Jacob and the house of Joseph that represents the two tri uh, the, the the two kingdoms, man. Uh, that basically split from the, from the kingdom of Israel, okay, which was the whole kingdom of Israel, the old 12 tribes, the most is going to close up the breaches thereof this time, man. You ain't going to have no division, amidst, no schisms, man, so you can understand. It's going to be one unified force, and really that was one of the, um, that was one of the bringing down of the whole 12 tribes, man. Starting first with that split, and then eventually it led to, you know, more and more things happening to where we got scared, scared man. But that was really like the precipice of our power coming down because we we split up from being the two um we were, we, 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 uh, from being a, a unified uh, a state. So you can understand. All right. So it says there, uh, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph shall be a flame, and the house of Esau shall be a uh, 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 stuff. Are you boys, all right, man. Gentlemen, all right. Where are you from, man? That's there. No, what country? What country you boys from? Country. Man. My parents are from the Caribbean. Oh yeah. Oh, you're, you're 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 from the tribe of Benjamin, man. What's that? You're from the tribe of Benjamin. Tribe? You're from the tribe. You know about the twelve tribes of Israel in the scriptures, in the Bible. All oh, right. I'm a Muslim person. Oh, all right. Okay, man. All right. You are. Hey, the most is dealing with the scriptures, man. Yes, yes, you gotta yes. get out of, out of that Muslim stuff, man. Yes. No, no, no. That's just the you gotta, you gotta get out of them, man. I'm, hey, I'm just giving you... I know, you, I know what you're I'm, saying. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my job, you know, I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, the scripture yeah. says, go out, go out, basically go out and tell these people how to get right. I'm yeah, telling yeah, you how yeah, to do yeah, that. Yeah. That's your decision yeah. if you do. I'm washing my hands of your blood, yeah. you know. But then at the end of the day, right, you have, to, you have to read it for yourself. Don't listen to me, read it. Read it, read it to tell me and you. Oh, yeah, well, no, this is, I'm, I'm well, dealing with the scriptures, man. I'm dealing with the scriptures, man. Dealing with, with, all right, man. Okay, man. Hey, bro, you know, you can only push the, you know, you can only help Jake so much, you know? It says, hey, um, the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph shall be a flame, uh, and um, the house of Esau shall be for stubble, and they shall king the wind them, and they shall be, and they shall devour them, and they shall not be any remaining, right, of the house of Esau, okay, for the Lord have spoken, okay? And then let's read a little bit more. It says, and they shall, uh, 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 and, and, and they of the south, oh, that's it, man. That's what I want from that. What am I playing at? Okay, so let's go back onto the book of, um, uh, Amos, and I was at the uh, I, I was at the ninth verse. It says, "For Lord, for Lord, rather more, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel for 
from amongst all nations. So we've been wherever we've been scattered, the most I was gonna sift us from out there. But the elect, okay, because we know from the scriptures they are not all Israel, all of Israel, but are of Israel. Now let's read that within the book of Romans, the ninth chapter, man, because it's one of my favorite uh, 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 favorite verses, man. I'm gonna start from the top. Okay, this is Romans uh, 9 and 1. I say the truth in Christ, I lie not, my, my conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost, right, that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow, for I wish myself for a quest from Christ, from a brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, okay, so he's saying he basically wishes he had the same curse that befell Yahweh by Yahweh's side, alright, which was what? The scripture says, "Curse is every man that uh, 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 that, uh, that is killed and hanging from the uh, basically that uh, hanging from a tree, man. All right, meaning to say to be crucified, man. Okay. So it says there, uh, who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption, the glory, and the covenants. Now we hold on a minute. Eh? Now we go to the book of uh, Hebrews, the eighth chapter and the eighth verse. Okay, because Hebrews, the eighth chapter and the eighth verse tells tells us about the, them them covenants. All right, right. And I'm pretty sure those covenants were only established." To be given unto this, to, to, to just what Paul was saying here, man. The Israelites, man. Okay, well, let's just prove that because you know we ain't scoffers out here. Get precept right quick. All right, so this is the book of uh, Hebrews, the eighth chapter and the eighth verse. Okay, and this is uh, it says, For finding fault with them, he saith, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant. Let's start from the top. Uh, uh, um, Hebrews 8 and 6, all right? It says, But now he hath obtained a more ele excellent ministry, by how much also he is a mediator for a better covenant. Now, why do we? Why why was there a necessity for a mediator? Okay? And, and, and in understanding why they, there was a necessity of a mediator, you understand that the Mosai has never been dealing with these other nations, man. And he's never going to be dealing with these other nations. So when you go talking about the Gentiles and so on and so forth, they were all Israelites, man. The ones that obtained mercy and the ones that didn't obtain mercy because they were, they were, you all right there, man? Yeah, yeah, man. What do you think about the uh, uh, 